Hey everyone, I'm Brugly, and since it's the new year, I've been looking for a new chill and relaxing Backrooms level to tell you all about. And boy did I find one. Backrooms level of Vitrum Madness. This level is so chill and relaxing, and it's honestly one of the most unique concepts I've seen. And it also might have the first ever picture of a Backrooms level. So yeah, it's a jam-packed episode today, hopefully you enjoy, and let's get into the explanation shall we? So, Backrooms Level Vitrum Madness is classified as a Class 1 difficulty and is safe and secure, but there are a couple psychological issues that might come up later, but I'll discuss those in depth in a minute. The level itself was discovered way back on April 30th, 1934, and the first known picture of this level, which is this one, was that same day, and it literally might be the first ever picture taken in the Backrooms. This picture looks way different than the level does now, which means that the level somehow changed its environment over time. Cool. The level itself is made up of linear corridors made out of greenhouses, or conservatories. These greenhouses look like they're meant to host some kind of event, because a lot of them have tables and chairs and furniture that look like people were sitting in them. The floor in these greenhouses are made out of stone, and a long stone pathway runs through each of them. But sometimes there's a wall of glass, or just the greenhouse wall ends, and they won't connect properly. But that's whatever. If you look outside of the glass walls to see where the level takes place, it's definitely not where you think it would be, because the level seems to be positioned inside of an empty, obscure sky. Like, there's just nothing. It's floating up in a misty void. Now, some people think there are support beams under it, and some people think it's just floating. No one can agree on what's holding it up, so just believe whatever you want to. Now, on your journey through the greenhouses, you'll eventually run into one that's filled to the brim with plants specifically flowers, and there will be bouquets and ferns and that type of thing everywhere. Most of them seem to look like flower shops from real life, and some even have welcome signs and checkout places too, even though they're all empty. Most of the signs and tags are weird though, because they're either blank or have blurred text. But yeah, who knows? It's the back rooms. What else did you expect? Now, the tables I mentioned earlier that look like people were sitting at them, most of them actually have plates of food on them, and some of the plants in the greenhouses also grow what looks to be edible food. But whatever you do, do not eat anything you see here, no matter how good or how normal it looks, because if you eat something, you'll start to develop sharp body pains that could lead to cardiac arrest. So no matter how hungry you are, do not eat anything. I repeat, do not eat anything. The weather and climate inside of this level stays pretty normal throughout the whole year and throughout most of the greenhouses. It hovers anywhere from 15 to 20 degrees Celsius, or 59 degrees to 68 Fahrenheit, so it's a comfortable temperature. But there's something else that you might need to watch out for, and that is the rain showers. These rain showers are very common in this level, and they actually happen about every hour. Sometimes, though, a heavy the storm can pop up with thunder and lightning, but it's normally just a misty rain. And this misty rain makes it extremely relaxing. It also makes the entire place smell like almond water. But no one knows if the rain is almond water, or if it's just a coincidence. Now I'm sure you're asking yourself, you know, why doesn't someone just try to break the glass and see what's outside? Well the answer is, you can't. You cannot break the glass, it's indestructible, no matter what's been tried, no one can break it. So for now, we'll go with the theory that this is just an infinite floating greenhouse. The level has a constant sound of slight drizzling and the atmosphere feels damp and cool, and to be honest, it seems like just a really relaxing place to sit in the chair and chill. But you might not want to do that because now it's time to talk about the psychological issues that I hinted at earlier. So after a short amount of time in this level, you'll start to hear music softly playing off in the distance. This music is very captivating and calming, and it's actually addictive to listen to. The source of the music is unknown, but some people have theories about it. 
Some posit that it's a hallucination, that you're just hearing things, but then again, there's been audio recordings of the level that show that the music is real because it's in the recording. Some people think that the music comes from an undocumented entity hiding deep in the greenhouse somewhere that tries to lure you in closer. But none of that has been confirmed. For all we know, it could just be music randomly playing. Whatever you do though, do not let the music pull you really deeply into the level because people have never been seen again once they've gone chasing after it. The next psychological issue is this thing called the Vitrum Madness, which is actually the name of the level, of course, but that's also the name of a madness or a psychological disorder that happens only on this level. This is a psychological phenomenon that literally only happens when you're on this level. It causes you to hallucinate or actually see things we don't know. Some people have reported seeing an expansive, thriving environment outside of the glass walls of the greenhouses, which like I said earlier, there's supposed to be nothing outside of these walls. It's just a white void. So this madness and this psychological phenomenon is causing people to see things that aren't there. Once they see this environment with their own eyes, they start to break down psychologically and they'll have mental breakdowns and have panic attacks and that kind of thing. They go crazy. So yeah, there's definitely some funky stuff happening in this level. Just watch out when you get here and try not to go crazy. Go check out the full article in the description if you want to know all about this madness syndrome, because there's way more stuff that I couldn't cover in this video. It's too long. But if you're interested, go check below. Getting to this level with someone or a group of people is apparently impossible because the entrances have been tried with groups and none of it works. So yeah, good luck with being lonely. It's also important to note that entering this level normally happens by accident because no one purposely comes here. It normally just so happens to be an accident. The same goes with leaving. It's all accidental. There's only one entity that lives here and it's this thing. It's called the Philodose or Philodose, I think is how you say it. And they live in the soil inside the flower pots of this level. They normally stay really chill and just look like big slug worm type deals. But if you try to cause harm or cut them or something, they'll rapidly grow larger and try to attack you. Uh, yeah, wish I was making that up, but I'm not. It's really hard to enter this level and it's kind of like a roadblock for people who are trying to get past it to explore more of the back rooms. But there are about 10 confirmed entrances that have worked before. However, However, at any given time, none of them could be working. One is from level zero. You have to find a glass door that's just in a wall there. And there are nine other ways to enter too. You can check them out in the description. Now to exit, there's only been two confirmed ways. And one of them is if you suddenly lose consciousness and pass out, you might wake up on level 45, or you could just randomly be walking and just wake up on level 14. That's all we got. There's literally no real confirmed exit. Those are just where people have gone, we think. It's hard to leave this place, so I just recommend not going. That's it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate and love all of you. Comment the keyword Greenhouse Brugley if you've made it this far. I really enjoyed this level. It has great vibes to it. I love the atmosphere and the ecosystem that this has been created with. I love the relaxing drizzle sounds and stuff of rain. Who doesn't love it? I think it was a great one. Let me know in the comments what you think. While you're down there, check out my second and third channels, Brugley 2 and Spoogly, if you do want more content from me. And most importantly, tell somebody you appreciate and love them because life is so short y'all i mean seriously it's a brand new year make a new year's resolution to tell people that you enjoy them and that you uh, and that you love them but yeah i love and appreciate you all and i will see you all in the next video peace